Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, in this video, I am going to show you the changes and improvements in the release preview channel of Windows 11. Version 24H2. Build 26100.3025. KB5050094. So, without further ado, let's begin. This update improves the previews that show when your cursor hovers over apps on the taskbar. The update also enhances their animations. An icon will appear in the system tray when you use an app that supports Windows Studio effects. This only occurs on a device that has a neural processing unit. You can select the icon to open the Studio Effects page in quick settings. To view the app that is using the camera, hover over the icon for a tooltip. This update adds Simpson, a new simplified Chinese font. It includes the Biang Biang Noodles character. Some apps might not be able to display these new extension characters yet. The font has 9753 ideographs that support Unicode extensions, G, H, and I. You now have quick access to items that others have shared with you. Shared items include files, emails, Teams chats, and more. To view them, you must use a Microsoft account, or a Microsoft Entra ID account, to sign into Windows. To view these shared items, go to the File Explorer homepage and choose the Share tab. If you use a Microsoft Entra ID account to sign in, you have more viewing choices, you will see the files, that you have shared with others. Also, the recent, favorites, and shared sections of the page will show a broader set of file types. When you right-click items in the left pane, the new folder command appears on the context menu. The Windows Mobile Hotspot now supports 6 GHz connections. This new band requires chips that support the feature in updated drivers. The chips that support 6 GHz Wi-Fi might not support the 6 GHz Mobile Hotspot. To view this new band, go to Settings, then Network and Internet. Click on Mobile Hotspot. In the Network Properties section, select Edit. To work with existing devices, the Mobile Hotspot will only use 6 GHz when you enable it. You will now have a standard Windows 11 taskbar after restoring from a backup, via the Windows Setup Experience on a new Windows PC. You can still find your apps in the Start menu, search, and pin apps you want on your taskbar. This change is not yet rolling out in the European Economic Area. You can change time zones in the Settings app, then Time and Language, and click on Date and Time. You don't have to be an admin to make this change. There are some fixes in this update like, after you do a search, that search might repeat when you don't want it to. Fix the date and time properties of a file, that might update after you copy it. Fix the icons on the details pane which might not update. As you expect when you change a theme, this makes it hard to view the change when you switch between dark and light themes. Fix the search box that might lose input focus as you type. Fix the snipping tool screenshots that might be distorted, this occurs when you use two or more monitors that have different display scaling. When you switch app windows, the email language might change from Chinese to English. Fix the issue where a device might fail to join a domain. The mouse cursor might disappear, this occurs when you hover over text fields in certain applications. If you turn on pointer trails, the mouse cursor becomes transparent, and a black box appears behind it. The mouse cursor might stutter when it moves across the screen, this occurs even when the system is not using a lot of resources. Fix the issue where you open certain files, like you open Excel, but the screen might remain on the loading screen. Fix the issue where a watchdog timeout error might occur when your PC resumes from sleep. Fix the issue where cumulative updates might not install, with the error code, 0 by 800736 b 3 this occurs after a feature on demand fails to install. Fix the issue where the display of some games appears oversaturated. This occurs when you use Auto HDR. So, that was it, hope it was useful, consider like for the video, subscribe to the channel and if you have any question, just comment down below, thanks for watching and have a great day ahead.